radical, extreme anti-cat eaters who are pushing their opinion, forcing their opinion down this cat eater's throat. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So, we're keeping with the same theme here. Um, if anyone hasn't seen my dog meat video here, please go check this one out. It's really uh, epic sort of overview of the speciesism uh, related to people who condemn Yulin China for eating dogs but they're eating pigs and chickens and cows. Gotta run with that theme for a little bit here because I think it's a powerful little comparison. Not everyone loves dogs but many people do and many people hate to see dogs be eaten let's face it and that's what I'm going to talk about today as the title sort of suggests. We're going to go through this few mukbangers on YouTube. The old mukbang. It's like a called an eating show like a I think it's a Korean name for an eating show or whatever, but there's a few mukbangers uh, like this one, um, V A S M R. Um, yeah, she's been eating uh, dogs and cats on her YouTube channel. Now, look, before you will say, "Oh, Joey, you're vilifying this culture and yada yada yada," no, I condemn the eating of all animals. Uh, so not just dogs and cats cows and chickens and pigs and fish and, you know, the use of animals, basically, the exploitation of animals. But what I just, what just really grinds my gears is when you see people that, you know, will sit there and eat a bacon sandwich, but come along to videos like this and go, oh my god, how dare you eat these animals? So, let's get right into it. Let's have a look at this one. Eating a whole steamed cat with lemongrass. Here she is, chewing away on the cat. Chewing away on the cat's leg, it looks like there. Very disturbing. Keep going. Wow. Just biting into the side of the cat there. Now, who, anyone out there who's a like serious cat lover is going to be cringing with disgust right now. But, you know, the way that you feel when you see someone eating a cat is the same way vegans feel when we see you eating a pig. I don't know what a cat tastes like. Maybe something similar to ki uh, chicken looks like. If you look here, it looks like a... Um, yeah, it looks like a white meat. Let's go into the comment section here. This isn't exactly what I meant when I searched for cat ASMR. So they seem a bit shocked. And someone else here has read my mind because he said, I guess this is how vegans see us when we eat meat. Let's look at the comment replies to this one. Correct. We think you are murderers. I don't know if the person who eats meat is a murderer, but when they become conscious of what they support, they're definitely supporting the murder. Um... You know, I think that if you aren't vegan, you're definitely responsible for the abuse and torture that goes on to animals. So, to avoid being an animal abuser, just, you know, be a vegan. I was just looking for some nice cat pairing ASMR. ASMR is like sound porn for people who like to listen to, like, crackling sounds. It's really big on YouTube. I mean, I, I don't really get into it myself. Imagine if she becomes a cat in her next life and that cat becomes a YouTuber. So this person is talking about a little bit of karma. You know, imagine if you were a pig or a chicken in your next life and think about that. Now, what I didn't point out to you guys is the dislike ratio. Check that out. 52,000 dislike this, 2.6 thousand like. Wow, 500,000 views. That is a massive dislike ratio. Oh, here we go, a snowflake. Oh, you know how vegans oh, get so offended, like people go, oh, Joey, you get offended just walking through the meat aisle. Well, yeah, I see a dead body. Someone else uh, here is getting offended too. I don't get offended by very many things, but this is forked, which I think means the F word. Um, you know, someone else says you're the reason why the coronavirus is in circulation. I think that it's more of a collective um, support of you know, the meat industry, and if this, if you, Reese, mate, if you're still eating pigs, chickens, you know, and these animals that are being farmed in factories, then, you know, the, your hands aren't clean yourself, because these are breeding grounds for diseases as well. Let's move on to a different one. There was one, there was one that looked very full frontal from this lady, and, you know, I'm a, I'm a dog lover myself. I love dogs. Um, they are just 
amazing, beautiful animals. All right, now here she is with a dog's head. Look at that. Look at that. That is terrifying. That dog. I mean, we all at one stage in our life have connected with dogs, but this is a roasted dog's head. Now, she's only just uploaded this August 15th, 2020. Shout out to Chris Hines for pointing this out to me, my brother. Thank you very much. Um, already such a large dislike ratio here for such, uh, you know, not a very viewed video at all. Let's just have a watch through watching her eat this dog here. There she goes. She's having a bite out of that dog's head. Now, that looks like a smaller dog. I don't, I'm not not really sure what dog that is. Maybe a Staffy or something like that, but... Oh... Very, very disturbing. She's eating the dog's ears. She's eating the dog's ears. Um, yeah. Quite shocking, really, isn't it? Let's continue down into the comments section and see what people are saying about this, because we all know, like, most of the public uh, really uh, aren't into eating dogs, and many, many people in China aren't e into eating dogs either. I mean, um, I'm not sure where this lady here is from. Again, not to attack any specific culture, because there's blood on the hands of every culture that consumes animal products. It's exactly the same thing. There's no difference except for species. And to discriminate based on species is just an arbitrary thing. I mean, it's just human supremacy where we're like, we are the dictators of who lives and who dies. Dogs live, pigs die. I mean, obviously in the West, we're still euthanizing dogs at kill shelters and treating dogs like crap too. But uh, uh, as a general matter, um, you know... The general public are up in arms if something happens to a dog. I love the dog's smile. It gave me anxiety. It's disturbing. Someone said, Jeremiah says, this is going too far. Look, Jeremiah, mate, now you kind of understand why uh, we get upset when people eat pigs and chickens and cows and then they go and make fun of us for pointing it out. Um, the height of hypocrisy is seeing an avid meat eater get upset about someone eating dogs. Like... How can you be so disconnected from consistency? Like, it is just blatant hypocrisy. Um, someone here, garden la lady's getting into it. I love the crispy, crunchy sounds and the herbs too. So, like, okay, um, this person probably doesn't have that speciesist mindset or whatever, but maybe if they saw the dog get tortured and killed first. I mean, and this is like... A lot of people don't see what happens to the animals beforehand, so they just eat the beef burger or they just see, like, the chopped up part of the body... People, m for the most part, are disconnected from the head. <laughs> they don't see the head uh, be decapitated or on the table roasted up. Let's keep going. Let's look at a most viewed video, this lady here, and it's a lemongrass steamed cat. Is anyone who's not vegan in the comments section making the connection yet? Please. It, it's like if you love cats and you hate seeing someone eat one then you can understand why people hate seeing lambs and fish and chickens get eaten you know we've just made the connection to these other animals the same connection that you made to your cat so look at this this is what 1.4 million views 5,000 likes 100,000 dislikes 120,000 nearly uh, someone else says, this is the reason why the coronavirus happened. Well, I hope you're not eating factory farmed animals because you're causing the same breeding grounds for zoonotic diseases to thrive anyway. So yeah, you might be the reason that something similar to coronavirus even worse happens. Someone says, I'm actually scared of this woman. Well, she's just eating meat. Why would you be scared of her? Do you eat meat? Um, otherwise, you're a big fat hypocrite if you're pointing the finger at her. I want to see a cat eating meat, not a girl eating a cat. Well, uh, I don't want to see a cat you know, eating other animals either. <laughs> if I had a domesticated house cat, I'd be trying to do my best not to feed another animal to that cat. Someone says, this girl probably watches Animal Planet like it's a food network. Oh, why? Well, because she doesn't discriminate between the animals that she eats and you do. Um, you know, because you're a hypocrite and maybe she's more consistent. Doesn't mean I agree with her. I think you can be consistent and be insane. Um, you know, you could eat every animal including humans and be like the most consistent and say okay it's humane to eat humans cats dogs rhinoceroses elephants chickens and cows and fish they wouldn't i would think that their worldview and their ethical stance was psychotic but you know at least they're consistent you if you're pointing the finger at her for eating cats dogs and uh you eat pigs chickens fish because you've been culturally con conditioned to eat those animals then you are a Massive hypocrite with huge double standards. Oh, here's one. Net Ted, dude, you took the words right out of our mouths, mate. There is every other food, but she chose a freaking cat. What the hell? 
Thank you, Ted. Thank you very much. There are all these other plant-based foods, but you chose to eat a pig, a cow, a fish, or a chicken. Thank you, Ted. You should be a vegan ad activist, star, uh, Ted. I'd support you. This is just disgusting. I feel so bad for everyone who has a cat and dog. Well, do you feel bad for all those sanctuaries who take care of all those animals that are rescued from farms and abattoirs? Uh, and then you go along and eat bacon, and it's kind of like rubbing it in their face. They're trying to save the animals. Uh, you know, animal activists are trying to help these animals while you're paying for them to be slaughtered. That's disgusting too. I mean, unless you've got some type of clear double standard there. Um, I feel so bad for all the pigs, cows, chickens, and p fish. It's like... And another thing, this Jules is like, I feel bad for all the, everyone, like all the humans who have a dog and cat. You don't feel bad for the dogs and cats? Come on. Oh, God. The fact that she's smiling is the thing that disturbs me even more. Yeah. And I feel the same way when people, you know, smile and laugh and snicker at, you know, animal rights videos or animal rights activists who are speaking up for animals or smile while they're eating a pork chop or and go ha 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 I'm gonna eat double the I'm gonna eat twice the amount of steak just to piss the vegans off you know that disturbs me too that's disgusting I feel bad for that poor cat and the fact that she is smiling is just pure evil she's just eating meat what's the problem do you smile when you have a burger with your friends same thing yeah I don't see why someone would defend this it's disgusting Levi says yeah I don't see why uh, I'm constantly having to defend veganism and opposing animal cruelty to meat eaters in the same way, in the exact same way. Levi or Levi, I hope that you're a vegan because if not, you've really got some analyzing to do with your moral situation because otherwise you just, the big H word. Uh, let's keep going. Someone says, next time eating my child with lemongrass and rice. Well, you know, like children are animals too, I mean, People have a double standard when it comes to animals and humans, obviously, uh, and I try to point that out all the time. Like, a, pi a pig has the intelligence, you know, of around a three-year-old child, they say. So, you would need a three-year-old child because they're a human, because we obviously raise humans up to this higher level, and pigs, we just look at, like, objects to hack up into pieces and turn into bacon. But someone is just saying this in jest, obviously, I'm eating my child with lemongrass and rice because they probably think that it's like kind of similar to eat a cat as it is to sort of eat a child. They're put a, putting this cat up a little bit higher, maybe. Just seeing her eat the same animal that I had as a pet makes me sick. You know what, Chris? That's exactly how we feel when we see people eating the backside of a cow, the rump steak, or like the leg of a chicken, little baby bird. Um... Exactly like that, man. It makes me feel sick to my stomach. <sighs> all, all these pre-vegans in here. It's really, really inspiring to see all these, you know, animal rights people in the in the comments section. You know, they're still eating animals, but I guess they're on their way. And here's another one, just to finish it off. I'm guessing this is how vegans see meat eaters. 5,000 likes. Even old VASMR has liked it because she agrees. She agrees. She's probably looking at all these hypocrites eating chickens while she's eating a cat going, wait a second, what's the difference? Someone says, agree. I feel like I should... Oh, wow! Someone says, I feel like I should go vegan after watching this video. Look, do not report this video. Leave it up. Let her leave it up. Vegans, stop reporting people doing this. Leave it. Let, let them be. Let them be because they are helping us help people make the connection. She's going to eat cats whether or not she puts it on YouTube. I can almost guarantee she's already eating cats and dogs in her spare time. But if you report it, then people don't get this message here. I feel like I should go vegan after watching this video. I'm going to like that. Jo liked by Joey Carbstrong here. Joey Carbstrong likes this. I really pondered it for a while after watching this. Update. I cut out all dairy from my diet. The dairy industry honestly disturbed me. A lot more than the meat industry. Look at this. The dairy industry honestly disturbed me a whole lot more than the meat industry. Not saying one is better than the other, but the abuse is brutal. I eat vegan cheese now. Wow. And honestly, it's not that bad. I can tolerate almond milk and coconut milk. They're actually quite nice. I can't believe this. Oh, I've started to consume less meat, but I can't cut it out completely. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it doesn't push a vegan agenda onto you. Well, you know, these people in the comment section are pushing their anti-cat eating agenda onto this lady. They're so militant. These people are so militant. Like, she's eating a cat. You're so militantly against cat eating. 
you know, I think I think we've made our point here. So many people were thinking about going vegan from this. So many radical, extreme anti-cat eaters who are pushing their opinion, forcing their opinion down this cat eater's throat. Okay, so we're going to go to a different guy now. Um, we've seen the lady eating, eating the dog's head and didn't really get a good reception, obviously. We're going to go to this guy, see what type of reception he gets for eating Bloody a pig's head. Yeah. Now... If you look in the thumbnail, he's actually kissing this dead dead pig on the face, which is quite disturbing and, you know, I just think it's disgusting and sick. So anyway, this is the eyeballs, guys. Can you guys see it? Yeah, it's eyeballs. Yeah, I see you. I see you. So, so natin yung eyeballs. <laughs> that was his intro, eating a pig's eye. That was, that was so sick. You know, look at this pig. It's just, it's just as disturbing for me to see this, to see a pig's head here. Look at the fear here in the pig's eye. That pig died in fear. You can just tell. Like, that is sick. Okay, let's go. But, you know, he's just a meat eater, just like everyone else. So, look at, let's look at the dislike ratio here. The like to dislike. 11,000 likes and only 1,000 dislikes for roast pig head. But wait a second. The other lady had the the grossest dislike ratio I've ever seen. This guy here, you know, he's he's cheering with these. 1.1 million views, 11,000 likes, 1,000 dislikes. Wow. You can see the difference, guys. Like, as soon as it's a dog or a cat, oh my god, everyone's just losing it. But, as soon as it's a pig, no problems. No problems. Okay, so here he is here. Whole roast pig birthday mukbang. 25,000 likes, 2.1 thousand dislikes. That's a whole pig. Look at that. Looks like they've done with the pig's little hoofs here. Apple in the mouth. Oh, someone else. Hey, this guy must be the vegan. Sad excuse of a human being. Or maybe they just they just seen the whole pig and actually made the connection instead of a piece of the pig. So that can happen too. Jay says, I thought that was a dog at first. Take a quick look again. Yeah. See? What if it was a dog? Oh my god. Wait a second. What if it was a dog? What is the morally significant difference between a dog and a pig? I mean, I can't drill this home enough. Drill at home. Here you go. What if it was a dog? Oh, here we go. This is what will happen. What would happen is I'd get 23,000 dislikes and 3,000 likes. It'd be, the, the like to dislikes ratio is completely turned around for a dog. Someone says it's also human culture. Respect that. I mean, you don't have to respect unethical aspects of culture. There are certain aspects of culture that should be respected. There are certain aspects of culture that should be rejected. And that goes for every single culture on earth. Not just selective, you know, outrage at certain cultures. That there, to me, is a bit suspicious. When people go, oh, you know, this culture here is evil, but they don't look in their own backyard. That, to me, is a bit suspicious. You're happy to point the finger at different cultures, but don't even look at your own. I literally searched up hot dogs. Like... Okay, so a hot dog is any better than that? A hot dog has a minced up pig. Higher intelligence, uh, very similar behavior, um, pigs and dogs. So it's okay to eat a minced up pig and a hot dog, but not okay to, for this man to put a dog on a spit. I mean, it's just, it's utterly just baffling how so many people don't make the connection like this. This is so hard to watch when you have a lo lovely dog. Well, you know, if you've if you've ever connected with a pig, the hardest thing is watching pigs be gas chambered to death like they do in the UK, Europe, um, and Australia. It's just that it's one of the hardest things I've witnessed. Pigs are so beautiful and they, they just don't deserve what we do to them. Here we go. We've got Benno, FYA. I assume that most people here are hypocrites. Go to the next farm and look at all these lovely chickens, pigs, and cows. You ever saw how they butcher... Have you ever seen how they butcher calves? Okay. I found this on the web for love. Siri's jumping in on the chat. Have you ever seen how they butcher the, butcher the calves? No, I'm not vegan. I really like meat. But I know it's not from supermarket. Okay, so he's trying to talk about local meat maybe is better. Or look out how the huge companies where they kill 800 pigs a week. It's not far from my home. As I saw it, I could not eat any meat for over a year. And if you, ever, and if you think you never ate a dog or something, you are sure... Are you sure what's in your finished products? Okay, so he's basically, his English is a little bit bad here, but I, I understand completely what Benny, Benno is saying here. Um, dude, exactly. 
These these are the he's made the connection. He still eats meat, right? But he's trying to eat local. This is the connection that I made when before I went vegan. Benno, go vegan, mate. You're already there. You should be an activist. You're already speaking up for animals and calling out the hypocrisy. And you're not even a vegan. Some people are just more aware. Some others like to keep themselves in ignorance. You know. Some people are just real and straight up, like, you know what, I'm paying for the same abuse I claim to be against, I'm a hypocrite, I'm going to change. And it's good to be honest with yourself like that. You know, I was, everyone else should be too. Like, I, like coming from me who, you know, was in gangs, was violent to people, was uh, harming himself, and all of these things, uh, went to prison, you know, I was no angel. But, uh, you know, one of the biggest realizations I had was, hey, I'm eating these animals and using products from these animals that are seriously harming them on a massive scale. And I need to be able to mitigate that as much as I can by being a vegan. So, and, you know, I got sober and stopped uh, the violence in the gangs and all that and left all that too. But it was a big, massive awakening that I had. And, you know, being a vegan and connecting to animals was a big part of me connecting to all beings. And just, I just just pleading with the people out there who are like so against dogs being harmed or whatever, select the animal, make a choice. Elephants, rhinos, lions being poached, you know, which one is it? Which, which animal? Do you care about animals at all? And if it's not animals, do you care about humans? If you've seen something bad happen to a human, don't you think animals feel in a very similar way to humans? They don't have to be the same on every level, but at least give, give animals their, their, their right to like not being abused, put on a spit, eaten in a mukbang, you know, exploited in these horrible factory farms or just sent to the slaughterhouse if they've had a happier life, whatever that means. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, go check out the Yulin Dog Meat Festival video we did. It took a long time. It's a good video to share. YouTube is not recommending it for some reason. It's got a lot of thousand comments, 2,000 likes, but 9,000 views or something. It's just go, thank you very much, YouTube, for not recommending that, whatever. But anyways, go check it out. Share it around. It's on Facebook and Instagram too, if that's easier for you. Thank you so much for watching. Also, let me know if you like these type of reaction videos. It's just me without a script, just watching stuff and reacting to it. And if you want me to react to something, put it down below and I'll react to it in the next one or something if you really like these ones. If you don't like them, okay, we won't do them again. Sorry. Peace. Uh, don't eat dogs, don't eat cats, don't eat chickens, don't eat fish. Uh, stop exploiting all animals for food and stop the needless killing of animals. Uh, the animal holocaust has to end. And I'll see you all in the next video. Be vegan. Uh, go down below if you want to start a vegan challenge. It's down below. Vegan challenge. All right, guys. Love you all. Speak to you soon. And peace.